Good morning from Snake Mountain Boat Works on Thursday, October 27. A major milestone day for the 1946 Bright uh, Chris Craft U22. Uh, this is just uh, memory lane. These are some of the destroyed, rotted, unusable pieces we took out of uh, the aft end of the boat. And that's what she used to look like. Now if I can pan over slowly and not make us all dizzy. When I walked in this morning, I realized that John had done a, a stroke of business during the uh, night last night because the, let me get it correct upside down, the starboard uh, chine frame has been roughed in uh, and I'll just let John pick it up from here and this is going to be a fairly long video. I'm going to introduce her all together and then uh, as John takes her apart uh, you'll be able to uh, enjoy the individual pieces he's making. Okay, this was the this was the original corner piece for the back frame here and it was just butt jointed right here where this one is. And on my new piece I made it extra long and I scarfed it into the framework that's already in here. And uh, then I put in a plywood brace behind it which all the crisp caps have in the back corners. And along with the uh, gusset in the corner, the original one was rotted on this side. So we replaced all that stuff and uh, this, this piece right here came out of over here and it wasn't, it wasn't cut out through this piece of wood here which was making everything loose and not structural. So when we put in our new piece we put it, we dadoed it right into this piece of wood here to make everything a lot more strong. Um, this back frame um, that was fitted, roughed in, and then it was sanded from the keel out to the chine. The uh, keel, I replaced that, and I scarfed it in where I replaced it underneath the strut, so that's all real structural under there. Then I had to, had to actually mirror image this corner to that corner over there. And we got that all set. The only thing is we can quickly take it apart and seal it and then bolt it back together. And when I put it all back together, these two pieces of wood are supposed to be like one piece of wood, so I'll actually epoxy these two pieces of wood. But anywhere where a piece a separate piece of wood goes into it, I will just put some 5200 behind it and put the screws and bolts back in it. That will allow it to allow work it a little. To work a little bit, but yet it won't loosen up. Originally there was no adhesive or sealer behind the boards and they all loosen up after a while the screws get loose and everything loosens up. But hopefully with the 5200 in between the boards things will stay good and solid. This joint, we took out the one that had it was a three-piece joint frame before. It had a splice right here and then one down there. Took that out, remade a new piece for the side, the joint, and I uh, start jointed it down here. No butt joint? No, no butt joint. Scarfed uh, in. There's, a, there's eight, a proper eight scarf. scarf. An eight-inch scarf. Good. So. And you... When you finally put that together, that will also be 5200 together? This I can epoxy because it should be one board together. Okay. So I can put epoxy to that. Now, all these frame rails that were dropped a quarter to three eighths of an inch, um, I put a three, three inch screw into the oak frame and that made them nice and strong. Left them even with the top so they aren't flopping. And you still have to. Uh, sand the bevel into the I have to sand frame. the bevel into the top of it, yep. which is pretty tricky. I got the back of it. If you if you look toward the back of the boat, I have the back of it sanded in for about three feet. 
Oh yeah, there you can yeah, see it. Uh, yep. Well, John, why don't you start deconstructing all of your work, and uh, we'll follow along. Okay, I can do that. So at this point, we'll take a break and end part one of this two-part video. And the next one will take you through the process of undoing everything that John has just done. Thank you so much. Bye-bye for now from Snake Mountain Boatworks.